Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming at you with a very, very exciting unboxing. Um, there's a whole little thing about this, I'll get into that. Um, but before I begin, please like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel, and also you can follow me on Instagram, Catherine is a cat, or on TikTok with the same YouTube username, catluxlove8811. I'm going to reveal the bag to you and then uh, get into a whole thing of how uh, my whole thought process of getting this bag because it was a real, I think this was like one bag that was the most uh, torturous for me to decide what to get just because I can't shop uh, in person in store. I have to rely on a sales, uh, on, on my salesperson. Person. So it is from Loewe. Just comes with a nice, really thick linen type uh, dust bag. Then inside, it comes in another dust bag with uh, with the actual tag, like price tag and all that. So yeah, it's weird that they come double bagged. And to reveal. The Loewe Small Puzzle Bag in black and in silver hardware. Um, yeah, and she said that the strap is in here. Yeah, so there is a strap in here. Um, there's a long crossbody strap. And it has... Ugh, the tissue paper to stuff it. And, oh, and it does come with one pocket in the front here. And here it has the care booklet. And then the little um, tags, the, the authenticity. I don't know what this is. I, I, I guess this is their type of, I don't know, because my Loewe uh, little Totoro um, items also came with this. So I don't know, maybe... It's a usual thing. I, I don't know. I I don't. This this here is my first like big Loewe bag. Um, so yeah, it's just saying big thank you for cho choosing Loewe. Uh, how to take care of it and and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it can It's it's black on black. It has a little white embossed and printed uh, Loewe logo anagram here on the top, which is really nice. It's very discreet. Um, I wasn't able to really see, uh, like, shop for this in person due to the pandemic, so I reached out to uh, a sales associate from Nordstrom that I found on Instagram, and I bought a few things from her before. So I originally bought the horseshoe bag. Now, you would have seen in my Loewe unboxing part two that uh, I got the larger uh, horseshoe bag, but I was kind of on the fence with that bag because when I put it on it didn't fit my body like proportionately I'm I I'm five foot five but I, I have long legs and a short torso so and and the the horseshoe bag was just very long so it just kind of looked very saggy and droopy on me so I didn't I did not like that um, and then a few weeks ago, I saw another Nordstrom sales associate in Vancouver selling the smaller version, uh, and that was only for like, like such a crazy good price. So I asked her to pick that up for me, and I tried it on, and it just did not. I mean, it was cute the size and everything, but I just didn't like that it. It was kind of weird putting uh, stuff in because it was too small to the point like um, you can really still only fit the bare minimums. So wallet, keys, like 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 a like a card holder, a key holder, uh, a small hand cream, hand sanitizer, and probably and, and also a one um, a, a coin holder or sorry a coin pouch holder like the round Louis Vuitton coin pouch holder so I didn't like how it all kind of fit in there and it was just all like thrown in there and um, the oh, the closure was a little bit weird to me uh, because it was it was it was finicky because one side would slide slide out but the other one wouldn't so 
it was a it was a lot of haggling there and so I didn't like that um so and I was humming and hawing and I was thinking oh should I keep what should I keep the small one because I like the proportion but at the same time I like the larger horseshoe because it fits so much and it would be such a great like travel bag but I thought to myself like it's, it just doesn't look good with me and I don't feel good wearing it because it doesn't look good it, it, it's not proportioned and then the small one it, it looked it looked okay but it was just kind of awkward with stuff inside so I figured why not buy the puzzle bag you know it's been on my radar for like a couple years like i back in 2018 that was when there was like a little bit of a hype about it uh, but then it, it died down eventually but this but but um the past like few months it's i've seen that on instagram and all that loewe uh, puzzle bag has been going going up and being more popular and prices keep rising and stuff like that so I watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos. I was contemplating should I get the small or the mini or even the nano size because the nano size just came out uh, during Valentine's Day. And I was like really, I really love the nano, but so I contacted my sales associate at Nordstrom. And so she took some pictures and like measured it for me and it was literally like the size of her hand. And she's the same, she, she's the same size as me, petite and stuff. So. Like, the Nano was as small as her hand, so that's like 6 inches, 5 five inches, like, I don't know, yeah, five, 4 to 5 inches long, and that was, it's too small, like, and I've seen people even say the mini size, the one size up from the Nano, is uh, almost the exact same size as, like, um, uh, the... The, the Nano Speedy and a tat like an inch bigger than the Chanel square flap and I have the square flap and yeah it, it doesn't fit so much and I and I looked at my collection funny enough the only large black bags I have are my two Chanel bags which you can kind of see in the background there which is my jumbo and my cocoa handle and I was thinking, ooh, that's the, you know, I have too many color bags. For someone that always dress in black, I have too many colored bags and too many monogram bags. So I want a straightforward black handbag. And um, Chanel's pricing is just crazy. And I've heard that the quality for, uh, for, for, for this uh, season is actually quite bad. The Nano was way too tiny. The Mini was just a similar size to my square uh, Chanel flap and to the Speedy Nano. And I have so many tiny bags like the Jacques Mousse, I have the Mini like bucket denim bag, and then I have more down here that's all Minis. So, oh and then also like the, the um, Fendi baguettes here. I have like so many mini bags and I'm tired of it. And so 2021 is where I'm getting more larger bags and more black bags because I just, it, for some reason, it's all color <laughs> and that, that's, that's really weird. So I was thinking, like, you know, the puzzle bag would look it, like it fits, it fits the. It fits the whole job description basically and um, so I was deciding the puzzle bag or the hammock um, but again it's another drawstring bag and I remember just with the horseshoe bag I was kind of like not a hundred percent on the on the drawstring and my uh, little no way here the denim no way here um, that's drawstring too and I was like no I'm I'm good with drawstring I, I'm not a a huge crazy fan of drawstring and I wanted like a bag the where like it's not showy 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 um because just from past experience I've had um you know co-workers uh of recently just not uh, you know like my handbags as you could say or just got offended got weirded out by all these logos so i don't i i don't wear them anymore so i wanted a bag that was low key um and low wavy fits that bell because especially in toronto not too many people know about this brand there's no actual standing storefront um 
of this uh, of this store at all. Like everyone knows Louis Vuitton, everyone knows Chanel and Gucci and Prada and Fendi and all that. So, oh, and also Dior. Everyone knows Dior as well. So uh, it's just oversaturated, and the puzzle bag Loewe fits the bill. Um, and they're very understated. They're not showy, showy. A brand and it's more of a casual luxury brand I feel like it's not so much of this fancy French kind of uh, look so I I I Loewe was was the one for me so I was asking my essay like back and forth back and forth what to get and she said these small fits the best and she took pictures um i'm not gonna post it on here but um i'll i'll, I'll post uh like a mod shot of myself wearing it and yeah so she wore it and she's about the same size maybe a tad bit smaller and this size like fit uh, like looked really good on her and i knew because i'm 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 quite petite as well uh this would fit me very well as well and it's black so it would go with my with with everything no matter what and you know it's and people have said on youtube that this is a great 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 travel bag so i'm really excited for that because it comes with a long strap and i can't wait to uh you know wear this out so yeah, and, and, and at Nordstrom, I got this at the Nordstrom uh, Yorkdale location, by the way, and they only had the small in tan, black, and like a dark, uh, like blue, navy blue kind of thing. Um, and I really like the blue, but at the same time, I was like, I'm not, I'm, I don't feel blue, uh, the blue color too much. Like, I don't, I don't know, like, I, I get a, it's just, it's just not me. I, I prefer pinks, purples, and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, so I went with black. Uh, she told me, like, it's black. It's going to be a classic forever. It's going to go with everything hassle-free. Whereas blue and tan, it's a, it's a little bit... Uh, you have to fit your outfit a little bit. And I... For, for those who have been following me for a long time on Instagram and on this channel for a while... Um, you guys know that I'm I'm very very uh, minimalistic with my with my style um, with a little bit of like casual athleisure a little bit, so I don't like to be too fancied up. I I like to keep it very simple um, with maybe one or two items that are like statement pieces, um, and yeah, and this would be a great work bag, you know, like it it does it doesn't have that like um have that standoffish snobby girl feel i feel um and it, it, this bag is very unisex like any any person can wear this male female any any gender basically can wear can wear this bag and it's great <laughs> and i'm so happy that i have this bag so i'll just show you the dimension or the whole aspects of the bag so it has the puzzle feature the whole puzzle design here and it's all like um it's like double leather stitched it looks like um so it, they, they have the frame and then they just double and then they just stitched on these leather patches here um and it comes it has a flap here with a zipper and the interior is the same uh, uh, linen lining as the dust bag and it comes with one pocket here and this pocket is like actually really like thick I think it's like double lined this pocket here um, and it has a Loewe logo here uh, says Loewe made in Italy and yes yeah, that's basically it the interior is very very simple um, I remember there was like uh old versions like the older versions i think about like two three years ago and the small came with feet and i think it had like more pockets inside but they obviously removed it um which i don't mind the feet because i didn't really like the design of the feet it kind of made the, like the extra feet on the bottom just made the bag look a little bit me messy so i didn't so so i'm, I'm glad that um 
that they, they, they fixed that. But I do know for a fact the medium size do does have the feet just because it's a bigger bag and it slouches more. So uh, for this bag, it is not slouching. Like, I have nothing in it and I'm holding it. It's not slouching yet. Um, so yeah, and then also it has this like tab. No one has mentioned this about the ta this this tab feature and I'm thinking that it's for when you're getting into the bag and you don't want to like tug at the flap or at the base or at the uh, body of the bag so you hold this little tab and you just use the zipper like it's so easy like I was looking at so many people's videos and they were not mentioning about this this tab like i was looking at every detail of the bag when people were showing um their their review and yeah no one talks about this i don't think anyone knows what this is but it's a tab literally so that you can get in and out of your bag with the zipper so that's a really cool feature and the uh the um I forgot what it's called, but basically these rings here, um, it's a square ring that's like twisted, so it's not just your your typical straight uh, ring there. It's like that on both sides, and the zipper here is a double layered leather, so it has two pieces of leather here, um, e just for ease of use to get in and out of the bag. Um, yeah, no feet on the bottom. Again, and and this is pretty like a thick piece. Like I think this is also again double layered again because you can see they did the uh, on uh, this side here with the little notch here. Um, it, it they 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 continued the puzzle pattern in the back or on the side here, and so this is double this is double leather double leather stitched on the bottom here, and this side here. Um, Oh, actually, they both have the. Oh, I didn't even notice this. They both have the little, um, the little, the little flaps here or the little notches here, so that you can um, easily grab your bag in and out. I think this bag is becoming my favorite already. Like, they really thought of making this bag super user friendly just from first impressions um, and then in the back here is also the puzzle um, motif or uh, puzzle stitching and it also has a little zipper in the back here and this is what really won me over as well because not many of my bags especially Louis Vuitton my Dior um, only my Chanel's have a back pocket, but it's just a it's just a flap little insert. Whereas this is a little zipper, so this is very um, good to keep like um, your Metro card or even your 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 card holder, like a, or some cards, some cash, some receipts, just to uh, have uh, for safekeeping. I don't think this will fit a phone. It, it definitely does not look like it'll fit a phone, but you can probably just put it in there and leave your phone. Uh, peeking out although I don't think that's that safe but there's that option too and the zipper is just so beautiful it slides really really easily very very nicely and the details they go with like that they put into this bag are crazy so even on the zipper because I'm just noticing on the back zipper here it says Loewe imprinted there you can't really see because it's really really tiny but you can see that there's something there. It's a little wavy, a uh, little, little engraving. And then even on the end of the zipper, it has a little wavy anagram there. Really like, really nice little detailing. And yeah, I think they did this. Yeah, they did that here too on the zipper. Can't really see that well, but you can see that there's something engraved there. And yeah, so, and the long strap, I heard they changed this as well because the strap used to have like a wider section, um, but I'm fine that this is uh, just a simple uh, narrow skinny version. So this here is also uh, adjustable. It has one, two, three, four, four holes. Um, Right now, it's, it's on the second last one, so I don't know how this will wear on me. I'll show a, um, a, a mod shot of this bag. And uh, the little clips here, 
say Loewe. And um, these don't twist as easily, as easily. like for the Louis Vuitton, um, you can easily twist uh, the, the, the clips here on the, on the long leather strap. Um, so this is very stationary, so you have to just, you know, be mindful which way you're putting this and not get it tangled or twisted. So, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and also in the back here, in the back of the strap, there is a anagram there as well. That is just for this little ball pin here so that you can adjust the uh, bag. And, yeah, so that's my unboxing. That's my story time. That's how I got this bag. I'm really super... I'm so... I'm actually really happy that I got this bag instead of keeping the horseshoe bag. Um, like, I like the horseshoe bag, I think, also because, like, it was uh, my first chance to get a Loewe bag, and... Um, yeah, that style is just not me. It's it's more boho chic, and I that's not my style. Um, more like a city, um, casual, you know, kind of person. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Loewe puzzle bag. Um, I hope and I, I heard that this bag will over time slouch in the middle. Uh, right now, it's just really really structured because it's brand brand spank new so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed um let me know in the comments below what you think of the puzzle bag do you have this puzzle bag is it on your wish list is it on your radar let me know in the comments below thank you guys all for watching i hope you have a great fantastic day Bye bye